So those are the incident response strike teams up there. Those are the five officers and 20 firefighters who would respond, like I said, if an alarm went off in a building, and they'll determine uh, if we need more help. Then we had Hazmat Decon Engine Company that was set up actually on the Commonwealth Ave Mall, which is a couple blocks away. And so, but this is interesting because we have cold weather in Boston. This winter was horrible. So, has anyone ever set up a, a, a decon, a ghost decon at a huge event? In case you had to decon a bunch of people and, and you do it like we set up like that. So, July 4th, we have, a, you know, we have this huge thing set up as we know that there's only a couple ways people to leave. So, what if you had an incident where you had a decon 500 people, except for January 1st instead of July 4th? I need decon people in the middle of winter. <coughs> You're gonna shoot cold water on an 80 year old woman? I don't think so. So one of the things, this isn't in writing, it's just my opinion, what I'm prepared to do is, you take over a nearby building that's as disposable as possible, because wherever you do this, obviously, the building's gonna be out of service for quite some time. Um, you break a couple sprinkler heads, you have people go inside, take their clothes off, walk into the sprinkler head, walk out the back door, and get an ambulance. Just keep that in mind. I don't know if anybody else has a different solution on how to do deconning hundreds of people in the middle of winter. Um, I'm open to the suggestion. Um, now the three hazmat cert teams, see, six members, police, fire, and CST, this, that, that's actually the National Guard. Critical the day of the marathon, uh, what they did. Now communications, we have, um, we have three federal line people, in fact, we've expanded it. So we have one of the mobile command posts, we also have two who just work at fire alarm in their own separate area so that um, the other regular operators aren't being bothered. So now we have a multi-agency coordination EOC, um, and like I said, I worked that. So in addition, the, the, the police was right behind me, um, the state police will be there, but in addition, and this became an issue with the marathon, there'll be somebody at that EOC who can do shelter in place. So if you have 100 people or 200 people who need shelter, what do you do with them? Public works is there. So EOCs are really nice to have. 